Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my freak show. I apologize for the impromptu background right now. However, some news we've received about AHS has inspired me to make sure that I just say heck with it and bring you this news. So this morning at about nine o'clock, they actually released the first teaser for American Horror Story Season 11 NYC. And I am extremely excited about it. So let's take a look at the teaser together. And I do want to let everybody know that sadly, this video is going to be demonetized and hit with a copyright strike. Um, I won't uh, receive anything negative, but if you guys could just help me out by liking the video and then pressing that little subscribe button, that would significantly help me and my sweet little channel that can out to bring you even more better news. So thank you so much. Okay, let's do this. I am going to screen share so that way you guys can actually look at it. Present screen, screen share, click it and share. Okay, here we go, guys. Let's take a look at this mofo. Okay, volume's up. Volume, go up. There we go. Sorry, I think since I'm on like my actual screen. Okay. Whew. I'm so excited. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Wow. That was incredible. Uh, wow. <laughs> We're going to have to look at that again in just a second, okay? For anybody who's just arrived and missed it, and I see all of you in the comments right now, I'm going to give you all a shout out in just a minute. I'm just really excited because I want to give you first impressions. When I first saw the trailer, I love the colors. It's almost like red and black and like a, like a Huey blue gray color. I loved a lot of that because it reminds me of the color tones that we got from Apocalypse. However, the actual tone of the video itself, of the actual teaser, gave me such hotel vibes. And when I was researching my video for the possible serial killers, uh, for this season, it was said that uh, the the supposed the alleged bag killer, which again, thank you so much to Hootis, <laughs> and I think also um, OTA KU lover. I think they also indicated in their comments like weeks ago that this would probably be the bag killer. I just didn't see the comment. And so I'm going through my comments last night, just, you know, replying to you guys. And I see that OTAKU Lover 32 has commented that. And I'm like, ah, oh! I guess what I should do is just start reading the comments because you guys really definitely know where it's at. So, <laughs> but it's like I said, I just thought that was so funny when all I did all that research. It literally took me almost a week to do that video that I just released yesterday. And all I had to do was look in the comments and there you guys were <laughs> Give me the answers already. I <laughs> Anyway, so I was really excited when I saw this teaser. Obviously I am notified whenever AHS puts out anything social media wise. So I was alerted whenever this came out uh, this morning. It was so exciting. I went downstairs actually to let the dog out and my phone rang at the notification and I looked down and it says AHS FX just posted a video. And I thought, no way, no freaking way. So I got the dog in real quick. 
and sat down and prepared myself. And sure enough, it was a teaser. So this teaser didn't show us the actors or their characters, but that's okay. I will totally take this teaser. I, I'm like Oliver. Get, please, sir, give me some more to Ryan Murphy because I just thought this was fantastic. So I absolutely got almost like Murder House vibes from it. Um, absolutely Pose vibes from it. And unless Stephen Cannells uh, is going to actually be involved with this season, I I mean, I know Pose was a Ryan Murphy production, and I'm so sorry. Please excuse me. Um, it's just crazy outside right now with allergies. The, the weather's changing. And Ryan, I mean, I know he had a lot to do with Pose, but Stephen Canals, that was actually his baby. So I'm really excited to see that we're going to get a tone of Pose on here, maybe. Maybe, maybe, you know, maybe we'll see Miss Candy. Oh, Miss Candy. God, I miss her. Um, Candy Sweet Remembrance. Oh, Candy Sweet Refrain. That's right. Um, and yeah, it looks very, ooh, it looks very devilish. So I'm really excited. So, okay. Let's go on ahead and let's take a re-look again at this teaser because I'm just so excited again to see it. <laughs> Not going to lie. And then maybe we'll like kind of go back and then just like do a couple of frame by frames and then just kind of poke at it just a few minutes. Now guys, please remember, sadly, uh, AHS is going to copyright strike me or FX Hulu uh, due to showing this teaser. So please help me not be, well, please help me out by liking the video, liking the live stream, and then of course the video when you come back to watch it and uh, subscribing. It would sincerely help out my little channel. And I am so grateful to all of you for everything you do for this little channel that tries. So let's go back and let's take a look one more time at the teaser. Let's break it down a little bit and then let's go and take some of your comments, okay? So. Let me present my screen again. Share my screen. Okay. So let's go back right here to Hulu. Now, guys, don't forget, I just want to say it very quickly that if you are not able to afford Hulu, it's perfectly fine. Don't worry. What you have to do is you have to basically... <laughs> you have to basically wait a couple of weeks but and stay away from social media. But if you wait about generally three to five weeks, just depending on how the episodes, how fast they're released, you can actually just wait a little bit. Like I said, three to five weeks, get a free Hulu um, subscription. You get it for 30 days. I am so, oh my gosh, my nose is just so crazy. And I think I totally broke my lipstick. If I just touched it, I'm going to be so mad at myself. Um, so, you can do it either by that way or you can come see the reviews. There's other ways um, to do it. Again, I always recommend nobody. Okay, thank you for telling me that Google Chrome, you were so sweet. There are other ways that you can absolutely uh, watch this episode without downloading it because we do want to absolutely give the show their due diligence and give them their ratings. So if you could with me, please make sure that you definitely try to watch it through Hulu or an acceptable platform where your view counts for ratings. Okay, let's look at this song gone again. There we go. Oh yeah, disco. And that looks like one of the mini disco places that was mentioned in my, uh, or that I researched about in my other video. A lot of dancing, a lot of leather. Look at those people. They don't expect that shit. I don't think any of us do. Okay. So let's go back again. So we have an FX logo. Thank you, FX. Thank you, Ryan Mary Faye Productions. So we have New York. All right. Wait, 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 no, 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 no. Whoa. Whoa. The 
Twin Towers. Dang. When they've been gone for over 20 years, and a lot of us who are not millennials, we're like Gen X or Gen Z, and, you know, we remember the towers. They're in everything that we can remember as children, especially about the New York City skyline. And wow. I bet they had to digitally insert that. Oof. I can't believe that the twin. Wow. Right there. <sighs> okay. Sorry. I guess just a little trauma flashback. Excuse me. So we have New York and we have a club where everybody is partying. And um, when I did my video yesterday about the possible serial killer suspects, the alleged killer, Paul Bateson, I think I was actually... I think I cut myself off earlier when I was saying that. He frequented a lot of the uh, gay, homosexual, uh, you know, bars. And there were two specific ones that everybody was always at. And this looks just like that of what I was researching. So bag murders, guys, maybe we're right about that. Well, I shouldn't say we, I should say y'all. There was a couple of y'all who absolutely called it the bag murders before like I even came up with that theory. And like I said, I just, I have no idea. Should have just looked at the comments. Ah. Okay. So it looks like we got Freddie Mercury right here on the, uh, on the DJ booth. And I don't know what the fuck that is right there. That's right in the middle of the actual teaser. It looks like some kind of big monster is almost like coming through. So, and maybe like, that's why they're stopping. So it goes black and then it looks like we got some hot booty shaking in front of us. Oh yeah, honey, shake that. FX presents. Oh yeah, we have touching with leather. Oh, and that was another thing too that um, I know one of you that watch my videos, you're really huge into history, especially in the New York in the 70s and gay history. So you were actually educating me in the comments. And I thought that was really fantastic. I thank you all again for an education that you can give a queen because I love to learn. But again, what I said in the other video is that the 70s in New York was the sexual revolution because you had, um, I guess that was Stonewall in 1969. So a lot of gays were free to just come out and be who they are, which was absolutely fantastic. And there were a lot of like uh sm dominatrix kind of like leather whips daddy kind of rooms uh that people would go to and it was not very safe <laughs> you know back then for the 70s it was like yeah let's go out let's do it let's have some promiscuous sex let's just let's yes let's do it but it was you know you can't do that you know nowadays and i'm not talking about diseases i'm talking about people Back then in the 70s, gay men just basically had to determine whether or not this person was worth their time based on five minutes talking over a drink or a cocktail. And that's what Addison Varel did when he went and met Paul Bateson at the club that night, which was a club just like this. And yeah, it's just, it was all about whips and chains and leather. And it's just, I am, I'm, I'm really into this vibe. I'm not going to lie. And then, of course, when you see, it doesn't look like uh, if you were to change it and this were the black, the red was the black, and then the black were the red, it would seem so much like AHS Apocalypse, you know, because it was almost like the red on the baby was almost like leather. But I just, and this kind of reminds me of like a noose right here. So, I mean, it just, oof. yeah, very good teaser. Okay, then it flashes to white once the red is gone. We have an A train, all right? So we definitely have the subway. <gasps> and we have a lurker right there in the subway. I don't think that's Michael Myers. I, it, it, the, the, the shadow, the frame looks a lot like him. But with the poof, I would go to say that that is Edward Mott moved into the 1980s. <laughs> Or it's Jerry Seinfeld with the puffy shirt. I, I just lost. Or it's a clown. I guess that could be a clown, but that definitely is a knife. So it could be Michael Myers in a puffy shirt. 
absolutely. But it looks like the killer is lurking in the subways. Awesome. Love it. Woo. Hello, look at me some more. Good God, she's got some gorgeous makeup and some striking features. And then this person with their eyes just covered like that, as if blind. That's really awesome. Ah! Look, guys, would you ever get your nails done that long? I mean, maybe I would do it for a day just to, like, see. But, like, how I put my hand... Oh, good God. She's like an alien, almost, with those long-tipped fingers and then the long black tips right there. Woo! Yeah, so... Little alien vibe there, definitely. Little Manson vibe with the black lips and the hair. But Manson wasn't, or um, Marilyn was not popular in the 70s. Hello, Miss, oh yeah, hey, that looks kind of like the puffy haired shirt guy. Look at those freaking arms. Good God. That person works out. Okay, and then we have the, okay, so are we going to have some kind of, do you guys remember in Roanoke? Um, and it's just coming off the top of my head. So I'm, you know, and we also had in Coven, uh, where we had the two people with the antlers and I'm kind of wondering, where is this coming into play? Where is the antlers coming into play? How am I missing something? So you guys will probably let me know in the comments because that's how freaking awesome you are. But yeah, we have it on a movie screen, a camera with the the guy with the antlers or the chick with the antlers. I'm not sure and I'm not going to make assumptions. So absolutely. Oh, yeah, look. Oh, so it's the same person with the little alien fingers that have Doja Cat nails. I mean, I'm sure it works for Doja Cat, you know, but it just doesn't work for me. I'm sure I would go in to give my kids a good night's sleep and accidentally rip out their tongue or their eyes or something. The deadliest year. And so we have definitely a needle dropping right here with blood. So that could absolutely rec um, represent the AIDS crisis or drug e epidemic because you could get AIDS via sharing needles or, you know, inter having um, intercourse with a, a partner that's infected with AIDS or the HIV virus. So that's definitely very interesting. Kind of makes you wonder, is this the representation of AIDS or drugs? But I think more than likely it represents both because we have blood and doesn't, I mean, I'm really sorry. I don't really know about drugs. And I don't know if when you shoot heroin, if you're supposed to hit the vein, so you're supposed to see the blood inside. I don't, I don't know. So I don't, know if that has something to do with it, but you guys can, like I said, help educate a queen in the comments. And then, oh yeah, L grab that man, honey. The deadliest year. Oh, and see now this, so this is what I want to talk about because this is something that shocked the heck out of me whenever, <clears throat> excuse me, whenever I saw it. Are they injecting AIDS into somebody's drink? Are they injecting drugs into somebody's drink? Is this supposed to represent um, AIDS in the community? How it just like, brrr, like totally flooded it because the society that they lived in basically had no idea what the heck AIDS was and how to deal with it and just left so many people to die. I, whoo, there's so many underlying themes here. And yes, that's how I make theory videos. I just go wild. I think so far outside of the box that the box is in a coffin. That's how far outside of the box I think. So you guys can let me know about that in the comments, please. But yeah, it's being injected into the drink. And then, of course, we have a whole bunch of party goers again, just raging. Everybody's having a great time. We can see the headband. So that is probably more towards the 80s. This might kind of be, I mean, I'm, I am know people definitely wore headbands in the 70s, especially because um, at the end of the 70s was kind of the dawn of aerobics. So, but people still wore headbands in the 70s, just not as much as they did in the 80s. 
Ooh, so now we have a nice black and white. And with his lovely little hands around a throat with some digitally inserted blue creepy eyes, that's very, very creepy. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> wow. And a lot, ooh, the, ooh. And then when the lights go out, you can see that they're right behind. Oh, wow. Nice. This season's going to be so great. I can already tell. Okay. And then I, and this one right here, they're dragging somebody with the chain along with them. I, okay. Right. Oh, let me go for it. Um, and then, of course, they're pulling the thing out of the pocket, which I thought represented a little bit of magic. And hello, somebody goes to the gym. Okay, sorry. I, I could not help but say that because somebody goes to the gym. A season like no other. So maybe that's absolutely representing the red because, you know, we'll get the dawn of the AIDS crisis at the finale. And who knows, they might flash to and from in the actual episodes. So we might get actually the 80s in the early episodes instead of the two finales. So um, yeah, but oh yeah, look at these get men just living their best lives. Dance, honey, and uh-oh. Uh-oh, something has caught that one's attention. And I don't think it's something good. And that kind of reminds you of like the rooms that they would have, kind of like how they showed you with uh, in the Jeffrey Dahmer series. But that really was true um, for the 70s in New York City. They had um, underground rooms like that where they were hotels or they were little motels. You could rent rooms by certain times. I, they were also peep shows. There was so much sex everywhere. You can get it everywhere. So yeah, I love the representation of that. I love like the glitter and the glam that, and I'm so sorry about the pixelation. If I brought the picture smaller, it would look better, but I'm not doing that right now. So oh, look at that. So, oh, somebody going to go punish daddy. Okay. Right on, sweetie. You do that. I'm glad I'm not going to be the one punished. And then it looks like we have like blood that's absolutely boiling. Huh. Let's take a peek at that. What is it doing? Yeah, it is. It's boiling. Okay, so I definitely think then that that will represent the AIDS crisis, but definitely looks like it has to have some kind of drug inside of it. Maybe we'll get some sort of form of the black pill this season. Something that mixes with the blood. Oh, girl, get your daddy. I love it. She looks like <clears throat> she's wearing Hellraiser gloves, which I'm so excited, guys. If you don't remember, tomorrow is the new Pinhead movie on Hulu. And I'm so excited because EJ Marino, if you guys don't follow him, you should. He uh, reviews movies, television shows, and he also does American Horror Story. We've collabed before. And I love EJ. He thinks so much like me. And he did a review and he really liked Pinhead. So I know I'm going to like it. I'm excited to see it. Don't forget it's tomorrow. So if you guys want to go tomorrow and pull up your Hulu, you will be able to watch the new Pinhead. And then it looks like we got more daddies in leather. Absolutely loving it. More daddies scraping each other. There is the skull from the actual image that we got from a promo pic, but it's in red. Okay. Got it, got it, got it. Maybe somebody is keeping skulls this season, sort of like Preddy did when he would kill his prey. He would just take their skulls and their spines, and then he'd clean them all up, polish them up, and set them up on his little on his little display case and look at them with pride. I do the same, but to my DVD, to my Blu-rays, and to my books, I could not imagine doing that with skulls, but right on. It looks like, oh, okay. So I think that is the guy, the really hot guy that works out <laughs> because I just think his arms are so strong. He looks like he's wearing a puppy shirt. That's a cookie. No, baby. I'm sorry. Cookie is nosing himself somewhere where he shouldn't. Um, good boy, sweetheart. 
So yeah, I think that's not puffy shirt guy. I think puffy shirt guy just has some really great shoulders, <laughs> but it looks like it's through the lens of a camera. Um, so I definitely think that represents either a movie, <clears throat> excuse me, or pictures, perhaps somebody when they are stalking, um, our, t our, you know, our, our cast of characters that are going to be supposedly killed off. Uh, maybe they're doing it through pictures. So That is kind of weird. That looks to me like, uh, okay, I think I can see it now. Okay, it looks like somebody wearing uh, one of those gas masks. But it's weird because it's like it's got the bulb around his neck. So it looks like he's wearing a gas mask with an airplane pillow around his neck. I don't think people will call you daddy looking like that. But who knows? I mean, I it's it's not my thing, but it might be somebody's thing. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Sorry, I just still have no idea what I think I'm looking at. You guys will help me in the comments. I know you do. So yeah, look, big shoulder guy right there. Hot shoulder guy just definitely works out. He's got the daddy mask. That's definitely a, a, a new version of Pinhead, isn't it? Look, Pinhead, he's Pinhead, except he's tiny Pinhead. <laughs> Baby Pinhead with luscious shoulders. Lord have mercy. And then there's Pinhead right there but in a different mask because it is leather that is connected together by ropes. And then we have the long spikes. It looks like daddy right there is moving through the crowd and they're like, oh my God. They're either down with it or appalled by it. And that kind of looks like Ricky right there from Pose. Um, wow, hello Antler Man again, still on camera. So maybe that is going to represent our killer this season. Maybe Antler Man represents that. AHS, New York City. And then we have Subway right there. Okay, so let's do this over again. And remember, guys, this is definitely going to be demonetized. I'm going to be hit with so many strikes regarding this video. If you could just please help me out by hitting the like button and the subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it because I love bringing you everything news of AHS. Because as I said yesterday, I am a whore for AHS. And I admit that. I'm safe with that. Don't judge me because you're here watching with me too. New York Twin Towers. Oh yeah. Okay. Whoops. Wow. Oh, man. Wow. The camera represents the Exorcist movie, says uh, La Vida Random Christian, Di Christian. Really, the camera represents the Exorcist movie. <gasps> You're right, because from the bad killer, William Freakin, Paul Bateson was in the movie, and William Freakin was, like, obsessed with him. Yeah. Oh! Wow. So, yeah. Uh, White Bear Production, so glad you're here. They says, uh, or they said, New, uh, the Big Apple will be a bloody party. I love that. Thank you, Patchouli Joe, for being here. Patchouli Joe says, yas. MG says they wore antlers at the Manson parties in New at the Mason parties in New York back then. Really? Did they now? Hmm. I'll definitely have to look at that. Uh, Danielle, thank you so much for being here too. Danielle says something for everyone. And Vicken, you are so 
Wonderful. Thank you so much for your super chat. I really appreciate it. Thank you so dearly. And Debbie, thank you so dearly for letting me know in the comments. You are so sweet. Um, thank you so much again, Vicken, for always being here. I know it says uh, something different, but Vicken has been a, that's how I know it because we're Game of Thrones fans, he's House Targaryen. I totally understand. I'm House Stark, but we are not at war. We, I actually envy the Targaryens and their, their brilliance. So thank you, Vicky. You are so sweet. Thank you for supporting my tiny channel. Thank you, Ron Myers. I am praying some energy uh, of the same energy put into Dahmer was left over for AHS NYC. Well, hopefully that's. Manny Cotto hasn't really been busy, so he's been working on AHS. Um, I know a lot of you are hit or miss. It's kind of like a Scott Gimple situation, in my opinion. You either like Manny or you hate him. Same thing with Scott Gimple. You either hate Scott Gimple or you actually like his writing. Me, I like Scott Gimple's writing because he wrote The Grove. And in my opinion, that's one of the best episodes of the entire series of The Walking Dead. However, what they did with what he did with Carl was the worst decision ever made in the entire season. And I think uh, Gimple was the one who did the season six finale, which turned me off from watching it. So hopefully Manny is not going to pull a Gimple and Manny will still keep, you know, good on himself. But Julie Joe says, I live in New York city and I guarantee that we still have bathhouses. Uh, during the early 2000s, I was a patron of some of these bathhouses. As long as you practice safely, they're a lot of fun. And you meet literally everything. Okay. <laughs> um, White Bear Production says, poor people whose lives are going to be taken away from that killer. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Debbie thought it was like looking in a, like a, I thought it looked like a peephole, Debbie thought in the actual trailer. Debbie, that's great. You know, I didn't think about that. I thought about a camera lens and I did not think about a peephole. See, Debbie, this is why I love you so much. You literally think out of the box. You are not even in the same universe. You're not even a human. And that's great. We don't want you to be human. <clears throat> we want you to be Debbie. Smash that like button. Thank you, MG. Blaze, I am so glad that you're here. Blaze says, I wonder by the end of the season if the twist is they are actually making a documentary about New York back in the day. That has absolutely been, you know, a, a theory before on um, such as Roanoke and uh, I think uh, maybe Cult. Maybe Cult. But yes, that absolutely could be a possibility so that would be like a, a great roanoke twist everybody is loving dead pop stars comment so dead pop star says i hope macaulay culkin yeah don't worry about the spelling comes back for this season he did really good last time not his fault the script was trash okay let's get one thing clear the script was trash in the season finale when they did doris the way they did I accepted, thinking that she would get some form of justice in the finale. I thought something twisted would, good happen, would, would happen in the finale of Double Feature. And when it didn't, yeah, it's totally not Macaulay's fault. And I really hope he is back for this season. Because I don't know why, but he really, I mean, I know he's, you know, um, He's a married man. I mean, he could absolutely be bi or whichever, but I think Macaulay would be great again coming back. He scruffs up real well, even though when you look at him and his pictures on the red carpet, you're like, wow, I think I like you good scruffy. <laughs> I don't know. I definitely think I um, uh, did that. Let's see. Uh, who does? I'm so glad you're here. Um, they said, uh, she said, bathhouses and dungeons. Yes, absolutely. Who did? I hope that you are enjoying the channel. Thank you so much again for coming back. I really appreciate it. Yeah, Vinadu, that said, 
The Red Mirror hallway reminds me of Beyonce's Renaissance album photos. Ooh, I didn't think about that one. It, I honestly got uh, irreversible vibes from it whenever I saw it. And if you guys don't, if you guys haven't seen the irreversible, I, oof. unless that's your type of movie, like it is mine, don't watch it. <laughs> Gus Van Tans, one of his best movies, but I just, again, would not <clears throat> recommend it. So uh, that, yeah, I did not think about Beyonce's Renaissance album photos. That is hot. I, I'm sorry, give me one moment when I think about Beyonce. Okay, thank you. Let's see. Danielle uh, Lin says, I got disco bloodbath vibes from, uh, uh, will we see Macaulay Culkin, the party monster? Danielle, supposedly he's not in the cast so far. <laughs> Debbie, that is so cute. I bet that yeah, spell check. <laughs> Got you. Looks like a fe looks like a fetus has ball. <laughs> looks like a fetish ball. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That yeah. I mean, that seems really cool too. Um, you know, to at least have that displayed on the show. I mean, and I get so hotel vibes from it. I absolutely love it. Who just says it should uh, kind of tie into leading up to 1984. That would be awesome. Thank you so much for being here, Reneas. I really appreciate it. Uh, Jem, thank you so much for being here, Jem. They said mostly, most likely will be mid to late 1970s. The big blackout happened in 77. Episode four of this season is called Blackout. Yes. And so I'm actually, and I think the one before that is called Smoke Signals. So I'm wondering, I, I am going to do a theory video based on the actual uh, titles uh, and what has been put out so far. So um, yes, absolutely, Jem, because yeah, blackout happened in 77. People lost their minds. And also, if you guys are wondering about what is up with the blackout, what is up with the AIDS crisis, what is up with the bad killer, <clears throat> so I am doing videos about the history of New York during that time so we can all kind of educate ourselves and better help prepare ourselves with our theories because I know I want to be an educated queen in order to find out if my theories can be right or not. Um, so I did a lot of research so y'all don't have to and I put them all in nice little handy videos that just present the information to you no nonsense wise in a very factual way. So I do hope that you guys will enjoy them. They are in the season 11 playlist. And I did release one yesterday and another one last week. And I do have um, more coming out. So don't worry, I actually am working on so much more. It's just today was my actual day off since yesterday. I did so much filming and editing. And then my, then sweet who dis guessed the actual <laughs> thing out after the live stream so it's just been so crazy um but yeah I get up to date I'm like this is gonna be my day off I took the kids to school I'm having a taco I'm gonna have a big huge chocolate brownie I'm enjoying myself and then I get the notification from AHS and I'm like oh there goes my day off <laughs> so um uh, Renea says the deadliest in the U.S. was actually 2021 but that's probably just because of COVID okay uh, Nazareth White, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. They're asking 91 Magic Johnson. Was I wearing that one day? I do have a Magic Johnson Lakers t-shirt. Um, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Jiggle Jello. Jiggle Jello. So great to have you. Jiggle Jello says, hey, Mary, I'm giving drugs, AIDS, uh, epidemic, and vampirism. <gasps> vampirism. Oh, wow. I like that. Dead pop star says hotel vibes. Uh, Yeen finna do that says it's weird because AIDS was first reported like 1981. Yes, absolutely. Um, I love that movie and the band played on. If you guys have not watched it, it's really good. Um, it's got um, Matthew Modine and Lily Tomlin in it. And it's really good about 
finding uh, about, you know, the information behind uh, about how the AIDS epi epidemic started, excuse me, blah, blah, blah. And I absolutely remember when it came out and when people started to fear it. So um, I think uh, that are going to include that in the season finale. That's the only reason that I have that they would actually do. Um, <clears throat> I'm so sorry. I'm just a little congested from being outside. They said it's 1981 slash 1987 Requiem. So it's, yeah, I definitely think that it's, they're going to do the AIDS crisis in the finale, but I mean, sadly it was around before it was reported. And sadly, a lot of our sweet gays were dying because of it, um, because they didn't know what it was. And even with me, when I was poisoned, they did not know what it was. And the only way they would have known is by my autopsy. And their doctors. So yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you guys absolutely. Thank you so much for the, um, comments uh king of kings 2000 i am so glad to see you thank you for being in the comments and thank you for watching it could just be a reference to the dark 70s era snuff films oh maybe absolutely uh renea says i don't know what to expect it's either the worst or the best i prefer supernatural stuff yet we likely get serial killer stuff they gave us so little true true Nazareth said they don't really want another season set in the 70s, but the 70s was so great. It was so great. I'm not going to lie. The 80s was great. 90s was better. Uh, thank you, Billy Seals. Shout out to you. You are so sweet. Thank you, Scarlet Mercury for being Scarlet X Mercury for being here. This season is so mysterious. I totally agree. Um, thank you, uh, Nazareth. The Twin Towers were finished in 73. Yeah. <clears throat> thank you. I, Cozy, stop it, baby. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. I should have grabbed a water before I started this. Okay. Let's see. I am just, oh, happy birthday, dead pop star. I did not see that on the comments happy birthday dead pop star what a awesome birthday little gift to get from ahs is to get a little trailer regarding the actual episode happy birthday darling thomas perry thank you so much for being here darling i really appreciate it <laughs> nazra said that it kind of looks like the percussionist mask from slipknot right <laughs> um okay so let's see. Let me go down to the most recent comments. So many, uh, Jiggle Jello says, so many of the serial killers have a thing with the Exorcist movie. Has someone done a study on that? N uh, yeah, not that I know of. But there is a wonderful um, theory video out there by one of my favorite YouTubers, and I'm so sorry. I will check it. I'll get it in just a second. He has a theory that of what was actually wrong with Reagan and that Reagan was not possessed, that she had been essayed by her father. And that's why she showed the symptoms that she showed and that it must have been something severe for her to have such severe symptoms. And when he says it, it makes so much sense. So I will uh, get that link here in just a minute and I'll put it in the comments if you guys want to absolutely take a look at it. I love you too, Danielle. You are so sweet. I am li I live for hot D. Me too, Debbie. Me too. Amen. Praise the hot D. Uh, Lucas Shaw, thank you so much for being here. Hello from Wannably, South Dakota. Hello, darling. Hello from um, Texas. I should say howdy. Thank, I really appreciate it. My reviews will absolutely be out. 
Um, Yin finna do that said, I think it would be nice to see Doja Cat join a future season of AHS. Yes. I think she should definitely try her hand in that. Hello there, Fort Walton Beach girl. It has been a while. Thank you so much for being here. La Vida Random de Corcion says, I just want a story better than our theories, right? Blaze, you are so sweet. Thank you so much for the super chat. Blaze says, Mia Goth is a horror queen. I want her in a season. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, Biggin says, I live for your theory uh, videos. I changed my name back, so no more confusion. <laughs> Thank you. Blaze, I haven't actually... I don't remember who Mia Goth is. I'm so sorry. If I remember what she's been in, then I will know who she is. So I apologize. Um, but yeah, it would be just nice to have some good, fresh blood during this season. So that way, um, I don't get the same old person all the time. Because like I said, remember, don't forget that Jessica Lang left, um, which paved the way for Sarah Paulson. I mean, there was some wonderful people who actually, Mike, oh, Mike, I'm so glad you were here. Thank you so much for being here. So proud of you, and I hope you're enjoying the new place when you get there. Um, so glad you're here. And please follow Mike's advice. Thumb up the stream. <laughs> because YouTube is going to heavily demonetize me. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. Braden Trip. Braden, it's so great to see you in the comments, honey. I'm glad you're back. Braden said hanky code was used to indicate what you were into, as well as which position a giver receive you preferred. Thank you for educating a queen. You guys are awesome. Uh, let's see. La Vida Random de Christian says maybe the characters who are will believe there's a serial killer on the loose who kills gay people, but the plot twist is actually is that they actually died of AIDS. Ooh, maybe. It doesn't really seem, though, like something that AHS would do. If it was like Pose or something else, I think that that was probably what they would do. Um, Gary, thank you so much for being here. They better bring it. That's all. Amen to that, darling. Thank you. So I absolutely agree it. Uh, I absolutely agree with you. I'm sorry. I saw Debbie. She's a nymphomaniac, triple X, and Pearl. Okay. Okay, thank you so much, Debbie. Again, I, yes. Oh, thank you, Burning Daylighter. So good to see you too. Um, thank you guys for educating a queen. I really appreciate that. Yeen Finna Do That says, unpopular opinion, but I'm not really a fan of Billy Lord. She ruined seasons for me. No, no, no. Don't say it. Don't say it. <laughs> No, even cookies here. Like he doesn't like Billy. <laughs> like this guy person or this person doesn't like Billy Lord. What? No, it's okay. It's not unpopular. Yeen finna do that because one of my longtime subscribers that I love so much, uh, Little J, hates. And he hates her so bad. He calls her Billy Lard. Billy La Lard. Billy Lard. I'm sorry. That's right. And it's so hilarious. Ah, okay. Oh, my God. That was hilarious. <laughs> yes. It's okay, honey. It's not unpopular. She's, yeah, she's not an actress for everybody. But if I had any emotions right now, I'd totally be feeling some kind of way about it. <laughs> I do like her. I, 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 I don't know. Maybe she's just an acquired taste, but I do love the Lord. So yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, Andre, Andre, thank you so much for being here. I have missed you. I'm here for the hooker boots and tea. So good to see you. So good to see you too. I see you're wearing the mask. I'm glad to see that you practice healthy choices. We all should. Um, Burning Day Letter says, good to be here. Thanks for having me. Oh, honey. Oh, yeah. We love having all of you here. Um, White Bear says, yeah, 
used uh, used to be an unpopular opinion on Mary. It's very effective. Or Yeen used unpopular opinion on Mary. It's very effective. <laughs> I'm just a person who can laugh even at the negative stuff because what are you going to do? You're going to get mad. You're going to ruin your life. You're going to choose to be a dick. I mean, no, I'm going to choose to be happy and to laugh. That's just how I always choose things. I literally love everyone else. LOL. <laughs> so you just hate Billy. I knew it. Your project is. Your pressure is to get to Billy Lord. It's I don't know how you could be prejudiced against Billy Lord, but we're gonna go with it right now. <laughs> but Julie Joe says, I live for Billy Lord. I like her more than Emma. <laughs> oh my god, this this live stream has definitely turned into roasting the actors and actresses on American Horror Story. <laughs> and I love it. I live for it. Let's roast some of these mofos real quick because <clears throat> I have a few minutes before the kids get home from school <clears throat> and before I have to pick up another daughter from cheerleader practice. Let's roast some American Horror Story actors. <laughs> Robert Wood, thank you, Robert, so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Robert says, I watched and loved the teaser for AHS New York City season 11. I'm so glad you saw it. Lane says, I love Emma Roberts. Lane, thank you for being here and thank you for expressing your opinion. I, I definitely do like Emma Roberts. I will watch what she's in. I thought her movie, The Black Coat's Daughter, had to be like one of the best movies I love with her in it. So I absolutely agree with you. Uh, La Vida says, I don't feel paranormal mythical creatures in AHS 11. Dude, I don't know. Like the antler, the black mask antler guy is giving me like mythical creature vibes. You know, I'm totally getting like that from him. You know that I'm getting this from him. <laughs> Burning Daylighter says, I'm more over Leslie Grossman. I'm kind of tired of seeing her in every age season now. <laughs> that was good. Who could outdo Burning Daylighter? <laughs> Vicken is just rolling in the comment section. Lane says, I'm a huge fan of your channel. Love people who talk all things AHS. Can't wait to see more of your content. Keep rocking. Thank you, Lane. And guys, if you are enjoying the video, don't forget, please like and subscribe because uh, this video will more than likely get demonetized because it, um, YouTube hates it when I show AHS stuff. Um, AHS also hates it too. So thank you all so much. Uh, Kari, if I'm enunciating your name improperly, I so apologize. He says, I'm okay with Billy. They just made her do uh, campy acting too much. I liked her in cult best. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. As winter. Mm -hmm. Winter. I loved her too. Is that that little thing on top of her head too just reminded me of her of the servant as um, apocalypse. Yeen says, uh, yeah, she is probably an acquired taste. I know people love her. LOL. I'm just like, <laughs> who just says I don't like Adina Porter. Her facial expressions bother me. <laughs> oh my God. You guys are so good. Um, Patchouli Joe says Emma Roberts literally plays the same character and mostly all of her work. <laughs> She does. She's always the bitchy queen. I love it. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. I, I, why are we roasting the cast? LOL says Glenn. <laughs> because we're having some cast roast wars. Says Yeen. <laughs> we do. We just needed a little fun right now before we actually end the stream. Um, hello. Um, Herb. I know that's not your name, and I are or, or Sarah, Sarathia. I hope that's the way I say your name. You are so sweet. Thank you so much um, 
for being here. We are so happy to have you. Um, let's see, <laughs> Roast Wars. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Dead pop stars say Billy Lord and Emma Roberts play the exact same character, slightly altered every damn time. My roast, I don't really think that. LOL. <laughs> oh my God, this is killing me. At least Leslie has more than one personality. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot about Leslie. She can go too. <laughs> oh my God. This is the best roast. You seriously, you guys are, are awesome. Debbie, Abby, Babebi says antlers equals sexy scat bitch. Ooh, I didn't think about that. I'll have to check that out, Debbie. I don't know if I can say this. Leslie Grossman reminds who this of the Wade's brothers and white chicks. <laughs> I guess like her and Iggy Zayla have something in common. <laughs> uh, oh my god <laughs> that was a good one who dis oh my god okay who dis i'm so glad you joined the channel <laughs> oh debbie debbie says mary there's a frame in the teaser when you can see someone pull out a bandana out of a guy's pocket that's a hanky code it signals people about their sexuality and preferences. Oh, I did not know that. See, you guys do so great at educating queens. What did I start, says Yeen. <laughs> yeah, ab absolutely. <laughs> Danielle says, don't get me wrong, I love Finn Whitrock and he's always a great actor, but he looks so much like an ex-boyfriend, I wanna punch his face. <laughs> Okay, Cootsie, I know it's hilarious. Oh my God, that's funny. Yeah, Finn does have kind of a little bit of a punchingable face. I absolutely, I, I kind of do agree with that. Okay. Vicken says, I agree with who this on Adina Porter. At first, I didn't like her, but she grew on me. I know I've been watching Adina Porter since, um, you know, she was like in True Blood. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me, I'm a little congested. When she cameoed in Medium, I mean, she's been acting in cameos for a long time. But I really uh, loved her in True Blood and, um, yeah, and so many other things. So, but yeah, I definitely, she absolutely agree on me. We love them. It's just nitpicking. <laughs> oh, my God. <clears throat> Debbie says Emma is a starving cigarette in human form. Okay. Damn, Debbie. Damn, Debbie. The shade. The shade you're inflicting on all of these people is fast. <laughs> Burning Daylighter says Leslie Grossman's last name is fitting. She always has a grossed out face when she talks. I'm sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> Who just says, I tried to like her, but Roanoke made me hate her at Vic and Stark. This is a rose party. Yes. Have the edibles kicked in, says STE Fox. No, it's just funny to absolutely make fun of the um of the actual actors that are in the show. Leslie is uh, okay, says Kyrie. I liked her in 1984. <laughs> oh, oh no. STE Fox has found our secret. 
how did he know that dead Bostar took edibles? Ah, oh, mean hornet, I did not see you in the comments. Um, I'm so glad to have you, mean hornet. You've been here all the time, and thank you so much. Debbie just murdered Emma. Ah, I know, right? <laughs> She's calling her starving skinny cigarettes. <laughs> Uh, Patchouli Joe says he'll be rocking the Leslie Grossman 1984 hairstyle for Halloween. You better take a picture of that and send it to me because I will post it in a video in the group. I would love to see that. Okay, guys, it we've been streaming for an hour. I did not mean to, but it was fun. It was so fun roasting people. Thank you. That was just the best time we could have had together. Thank you. Um, yeah, so that teaser was so fantastic, breaking it all down with you. I will make another video to just actually uh, put it in there and try to break it down a little bit more, especially with the information that you guys have given me. Uh, no, Yeen, I have not thought about making a Discord. It's just another thing right now that I'd have to be responsible for, and I'm pretty overwhelmed at the moment. So when I catch up, I will absolutely think about that. So I love you too, Vicky. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, it was just so fun reacting and going through this with you guys. Thank you all so much. I really appreciate uh, Dead Pop Star. Happy birthday. Uh, thank you, everybody, for the super chats. Thank you for watching this with me and breaking it down with me. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the subscriptions. I really hope I'm not letting you down with all of the videos. Uh, and if there's something that you guys would like to specifically see me cover, go ahead and put it in the comments. I absolutely take viewer requests and I will dedicate the video to you if I choose your topic. So thank you all again so much. Please don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And um, I love you all so much. Don't forget to subscribe because let's do this. Maybe, maybe one Friday night or Saturday night, we'll just all kind of get together and just do a roast of Ryan and the cast and just have a good time together. <laughs> because this worked out very well in my opinion. Okay, guys, I love you so much as usual as usual Ooh, sorry. as usual we i know we love you guys so much and you guys have a good night now debbie wins the roast says, says danielle right so as usual guys do not misbehave thank you all for watching and beware of our queen sexy scathich she is lurking out there I love you guys. Bye.